Hello all, welcome to Nawab Hacking. In this video, I will demonstrate how an attacker can exploit a vulnerability known as arbitrary file upload found on Mara CMS. Before I start the demonstration, let me give you a brief introduction about Mara CMS. As the name suggests, Mara CMS is a content management system whose core functionality is similar to other CMS platforms like WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, etc. The only difference is Mara CMS is a file based CMS whereas the other platforms are database driven. Mara CMS is easy to use and it utilizes drag and drop feature for most of the editing. The installation of Mara CMS is pretty straightforward. The user has to just unzip the code, move the same to the hosting directory and start using it. It requires Apache and PHP to run the platform. I have already done the setup of the vulnerable version of Mara CMS on Docker Hub and the link to the image is given in the description. If you are interested to play around with the tool, you can pull the image and run the same locally. Moving forward to the vulnerability, the issue is found on Mara CMS version 7.5. In order to exploit the same, we need the credentials either for admin or manager. The vulnerability arises because the CMS platform neither checks for the file extension nor for the content of the file and allows any file to be uploaded. Being said that, let's start with the demonstration. The application is currently running locally on Docker Hub which can be accessed from the browser. In the exploitation phase, the first thing that we need to do is to enumerate the version and check whether the Mara CMS version is the one that we are trying to exploit. For that, there can be various ways but to my knowledge, we can check that via changes.txt. Quickly, let me show you how exactly that can be done. So currently, I have opened Mara CMS here and if I go for changes.txt txt i can see that the version is 7.5 now also to exploit that we need the default credentials the default credentials can be found on the test page which can be accessed from here now the administrator can be genius by removing this particular page but for now the default credentials when the mara cms is set up initially the username is admin and the password is change me the tool suggests the administrator who has set up this platform to change the password but if the administrator are lazy enough to change the password it makes the attacker's life easier just in case the credentials are changed the attacker has to find a way to get those by any preferable way once the attacker is logged in, it is easy to exploit. Now we log in into the platform using the default credentials. For that, I will click on login and you will see similar to this. In case you don't have this particular feature, you can directly go to the uh, URL and give underscore login. As soon as you give, the, the particular prompt will come and to login, I will type change and I have logged in into the platform. Also, as it was suggested, I have clicked on OK that so that it allows me to change the password. But in this demonstration, the administrator was lazy and didn't change it. Now I'll go to the home page and this is how the home page looks like. The vulnerability lies in the file section where when we click on new, it lands onto a different tab where I can upload the file in it for now i have already written a small php script let me quickly show you how exactly it the script looks like and this is the content of my script i am using a system command of php which would give me capability to run any command and that command can be run from a get parameter using the parameter called cmd now let me go back and upload this particular file on the server I go and click on shell.php open and this is the path where we can upload by default it is uploaded into the img directory for now i'm not going to give any upload path and click on start upload as it says the destination is 
set on IMG. Let me go back to the Docker Hub and show you if it is uploaded or not. And if I click LS, I can see that the cell is uploaded. Let me access that by going to a different tab into the IMG directory. I can see that the cell is uploaded. I'm executing it. If there was no directory listing, you can directly type the file name with the image directory and who will executing the cell here i'm doing cmd equals to ls and i can see that i am able to list the files on the present working directory also i can do it using who am i now the command who am i yeah and the command that i'm using is for linux as i know that the platform is based on the linux operating system i'm using the linux command but if it is based on windows or some other operating system similarly you can use those commands as well for now what i'm trying to do is i'll get a reverse shell on this particular system for that i have also written the reverse shell and i have all is present in my system what i'm going to do is i'm going back go to file new and here i'm going to upload the shell and this time i'm going to upload on the apache directory itself for that i am giving forward slash and click start upload let me show you if it is uploaded successfully or not this is the docker of instance if i go back click ls i can see that the reverse shell is uploaded now to get a reverse shell i'm going to set up a netcat listener on my system on port 1234 and from the browser i'm going to access the same on the apache directory that is reverse dot shell and one reverse dot hp and once i click enter i go back to my netcat listener i can see that i have gained a shell and if i type who am i is ww data and the host name is cv 2020-25042 which is the CV ID for this particular vulnerability and this is the way we can gain access to the system and it completes the demonstration of this issue thank you for watching this video this video is made for educational purpose only if you like this video you can give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more educational videos in case you have any suggestions or queries kindly post it into a comment section so that i can act on it and finally bye bye